Hi, welcome to Ms. Primash's Art Cart. This week we're going to review what we've been doing in class, which is writing our names in bubble letters. Let's look at my example first. Okay, so you can see that I wrote my name in very big, angular letters that overlap each other, and then inside I decorated it like the American flag. So, let's go over how you can make your name in bubble letters. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is you're going to write your name normally first at the bottom of the page. Okay, now the next step is you're going to write your name normally in pencil, but don't press too hard. You want to fill up the whole page. Okay, so now the next step is you're going to outline your letters but not right on top of what you've already written. You're going to go a little bit away from your guidelines. So I'm tracing around. Don't forget the insides of your letters. Now I like to make my letters look like they're overlapping. Of course you don't have to do that. If you want to make them overlap, the key is to stop the line where the next letter starts. Okay? Alright, so let's finish this up a little quicker. Okay. Take your time. You can take your pencil off of the paper because this isn't like handwriting. This is more like art. So, if you need to take your pencil off the page, you can. We're not writing in script. No problem, I made a little mistake. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to erase the guidelines I made. The reason that I want you to write your name out normally first is to make sure you don't run out of space because there's nothing worse than when you're making these fantastic bubble letters and then you realize that you've run out of room on your page and you don't get to finish your whole name and you've done all this great work. So don't skip this step. Trust me on this, no matter what, I always, always write my name out in regular letters first. Okay, so any pencil lines that are left on the inside will get covered up when I do the coloring. All right, so now let's go over a few different ways that you can make bubble letters. Okay, here's gonna be three examples of a letter A. I'm gonna make three A's. Okay, so the first one, we're just going to do kind of normally, going around, okay, okay, good enough, plenty of space to make a design inside, okay, so there you've got a bubble A. Now with the next day, maybe I want it to look a little more exciting like it's an electric shock A or something like that. So now I'm still going to go around the A, but this time I'm going to make the line a little pointy. See what I'm doing? Keep close to your line for your letter A. Don't forget the inside. And now we're going to erase and... Here's a very exciting electric shock A. Now that's hot, but let's make a letter A that's really going to look hot. Literally, we're going to make a fire A. So now, the key to making fire is, fire always points up. So you want to make a squiggle up, squiggle down, squiggle up, squiggle down, up, down. Fire takes a lot of practice. Squiggle up, two point, squiggle down, squiggle up, squiggle down. Okay, fire only points up, so the bottom is not going to point up. Okay, the inside, also make it look like fire. And now we erase our guideline. Anything I erase too much, I go back, and voila! A letter A that looks like fire. 
Now what you can do after that is you can make any type of decorations you want on the inside. Maybe I want polka dots. Make some polka dots. Whatever you want. Okay? These kids did a lot of different things with their names. So give it a try and see if you can make your name in bubble letters.